In this tutorial, we'll look at how you fix error 3. Error 3 can occur with our dedicated plugin libraries if the file path between the plugin and the library has been broken. This can happen if you've moved the library folder but have not changed any preferences within the application. To fix error 3, you'll need to open the Spitfire Audio application and navigate to the affected library where there should also be a red error message. Now you should navigate to the cog menu, select locate and then the library folder should appear here. If it does not appear here, this is because the selected default content path in your Spitfire Audio application settings is not correct and you'll either need to reset this in the settings or navigate to the folder manually. You can navigate to the library folder manually by selecting the bar and then selecting the external hard drive that you installed the library to and then navigating to the library folder. Once you've selected the library folder, you can click open and then select locate. The app will now indicate that the library has been successfully located and you can select OK. When you go back to your DAW, you'll need to reload the plugin and you'll see that we no longer have an error. If you're still having difficulty fixing error three and you're using Mac OS 10.14 or above, this can also be caused by a permissions issue with your security and privacy preferences. To fix this, go to your system preferences, select security and privacy, then select privacy, navigate down to full disk access, and then unlock by selecting the padlock button and typing in your password. Now that we've unlocked full disk access, we can make sure that our DAW has full disk access, and we can manually add in the Spitfire Audio application by selecting on the plus button, and then finding the Spitfire Audio app in our applications folder. The Spitfire Audio app, will now appear in full disk access and we can also make sure that this is checked before carrying out the locate procedure again. If you still cannot fix the error in your plugin, you should contact us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support linked in the description below. When you start a chat or a ticket with us, it's very helpful if you can attach your log. To find your plugin log file, select the error message and then select show log. This will hyperlink you to the latest log that your plugin has provided and you should now drag and drop this into the ticket that you've created. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.